past life regressions can help you understand the depths of those types of relationships Mm -hmm. and help you understand why they're in your life now. And, and really it's all about bringing the unconscious to the conscious. So it can be worked through, it can be healed, right? So past life regression is a way to do that. have such a treat for you today. Um, title of our show today, everyone, we're speaking about, which I love, and I love this title and also this subject because it's it's actually inspiring inside of the world today. Past lives, people are wondering how their past lives are, has an effect on them today, which it does, totally is because we are who we were. And also connecting, embracing that divine feminine energy with that. So within all of us, within all of us. And to bring that about, beautiful soul, please introduce yourself to everyone. Let them know about who you are first and about what we're going to speak about today. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Angela. Thank you, Deanna. Thank you, Jesse, for having me on your amazing show this morning. Um, So... I totally misread the time zones real quick, guys. So the reason (laughs) I'm eating a sandwich is because I thought we were going live at 8 a.m. Los Angeles time. Thank goodness I actually checked the time yesterday and set the proper alarm or else my behind would have still been in bed. (laughs) So aloha, (laughs) so so happy to have made it (laughs) to this amazing, amazing live this morning. And just like Angela said, um, I do a lot of transformational coaching. And one of the ways, one of the primary ways I do anyway, is through past life regressions. because it has such a profound impact on my life and shifts within my spirit. Um, And it's just been such an integral part of my journey in integrating all the shadow and unconscious aspects of myself that block me from manifesting the things that I consciously want Mm -hmm. to manifest. And And the things that I've seen in these past life regressions, y'all, it has been like mind blowing, completely unexpected. And I was like ugly crying through a couple of them, but that ugly cry, as many of you know, who have experienced it is so releasing and so healing. And uh, I'm just honored to have that opportunity to share that experience with other Mm -hmm. amazing souls who are ready for a transformative change in their life. So I'm so happy to be here talking more about that um, and answering any questions. Um, And I was just wondering how any of you experienced a past life regression, Um, any of the audience members or a beautiful host. Oh, Jesse has her hand. Oh my God. Jesse not only hands hands up, excited, shaking, moving. She waves. You know, I can't see myself on the screen. So yes, I was wiggling and wiggling. So one, I had um, uh, a, a video online that I did it by myself, but I also had Ryan's, uh, uh, not the whole, his, their pro- whole program. I had a mini version of it because um, I purchased Tina's program, um, How to Unleash the Goddess in You. <laughs> mm-hmm. So that was amazing. And uh, one of the, one of the, the time um, Ryan came and did, and I was feeling it for a good like week um, as things were coming in and coming out and whoa, that just happened. Oh, that's why I do that. Oh, okay. I got it. No more. <laughs> or you know it's it was it was it was deep that my meditation was super deeper Ryan I definitely 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 if somebody is ready for transformation and ready to look into that mm-hmm. that's definitely um 
Ryan is definitely a person, trustworthy person in the physical and in the spiritual world. Um, super powerful, uh, amazing with the uh, spiritual team, rock bottom, it gets to you. <laughs> so I loved it. I love, 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 loved it. I like that rock bottom. I can get down to it. You can get right down to it. I love that. And I, I'm looking forward. I have not. And I'm looking forward to it. And the person in my spirit and mind that I had already chose was you. Was you. So get ready. <laughs> Wait, your face was right. Get ready. Your face was priceless. You was like, who? Who? Me? 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 <laughs> <laughs> This is right the first up. time I'm hearing it. It's the first time I'm hearing it from this lovely, lovely soul. So I am just thrilled. I'm thrilled. You know, I'm that person that even I'm though you tell that. me the ending to the movie, I will still act like shocked <laughs> as heck when it happens. Like that's the I, that's the, I'm so in the moment. That's how. Yeah. That's the. That's the power of now, y'all. That's the power of now that I you forget when somebody that told you about something, <laughs> and you still be like, oh. I love you. <laughs> I, okay, just that, just that move. You coming back at least four or five more times. That's all yes, I got. You are, you are a mainstay. You are a mainstay. I'm telling you. Oh my goodness, I love that. I, <laughs> I love it. I love it. And the power of staying in the now. Yes, please, everyone, stay in the here and now. It is all we have. Even though we're speaking about um, past life, it is about now because we're all retracing our footsteps. You know, we're not, we don't leave the past behind. If you want to know what you did when you were here before, look at what you're doing now. It has a lot to do with what you did when you were here before. So we're just putting the puzzle pieces together. Jesse and I was talking about puzzles yesterday and how we see the divines like sliding into different places, you know, bringing us back into that hole. But the one thing I wanted, I wanted to connect the two with, because the, the title of the show is about past life and embracing the divine feminine. That's something that is, is spiritually becoming alive and aware in people today, which I love because in order for us to have those conversations personally with ourselves, personally with ourselves, and then to have that connective um, conversation with each other, you know what I mean? Is embracing our defined feminine energy. And that's everybody. That's not going, I am woman, hear me war. No, that's everybody. We all have that divine feminine energy with inside within us you know and I've been screaming all my life for everybody to get with me <laughs> you know and, and touch it so could you touch on that for us um from your point of view about embracing that defined feminine energy and how it helps us to connect with our past life yeah I did that I put it together I put it together yes I roll with you it did roll it so with it you did it so beautifully um well, um, so, so I don't know where everybody is at who's watching this amazing live. I'm pretty sure that you know what Angela's talking about when she speaks about the divine feminine, but let me just like, for just a well, second. So um, there is the law of gender and um, we live in a, a reality that is mm -hmm. governed by duality. Wow. So in this reality, we have the masculine and we have the feminine. And a mm -hmm. lot of us may be familiar with those terms as we use it in our everyday lives, um, referring often we think masculine is like men or male body people and feminine is female or female bodied individuals, right? Um, well, we all have um, this unseen energy within us, this unseen um, power um, that we, I call like the soul, right? Some people call like the higher self. Um, and that encompasses all. It's not confined to just one or the other. And that's that divine feminine and that divine masculine energy. And in this context, we are talking about the divine masculine as the, the force behind action and oh. the divine feminine as the force behind receiving which i think a lot of people um, are just starting to open their spirits to is this divine receiving the divine feminine because our culture for so many decades has been all about 
taking action, taking action, doing, 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 and being caught up in the doing that ain't nobody even integrating, processing, receiving, listening. Everybody want to be talking instead of listening. And that is the divine feminine. I need to drink water. Yes, ring that bell. Oh Somebody my God, has, turn that energy off. Hold on, hold on, hold on, before we go to class. No. Yes. Yes. Anybody else, anybody else hot? <laughs> yes, yes. I love it, I love that bell so much. Um, oh my goodness. And so, and so when you are tapping into past lives or doing anything intuitive, that is the divine feminine because you are receiving that knowledge, that wisdom, mm-hmm. the unconscious parts of you that your conscious mind, AKA your ego, um, doesn't acknowledge at times, right? Mm-hmm. And so you have to be able to do a past life successfully. I would say you have to tap into the divine feminine energy to receive that wisdom that's within you, but you just kind of, forgotten, if you will. Um, and one of the things that, that, that I wanted to share with everybody who's, who's maybe struggling a little bit with this whole feminine, masculine, because maybe we're so in our bodies and yeah. identifying with our bodies and not the divine masculine or feminine is something I read yesterday in this book called Existential Kink. Yep existential kink y'all heard it right (laughs) um and she said that on the soul or spirit level we are all grand cosmic hermaphrodites (laughs) meaning that we have both the masculine and the feminine qualities within Mm -hmm. us yeah and so i would say for all of you on this spiritual journey and awakening, you have to understand that. You have to accept Mm -hmm. that that is your truth, that you are not just male body, female body. You are male spirited and female spirited, okay? Mm -hmm. Um, And then you can tap into the wonderfulness that is the divine feminine, which so many of us have been out of touch with for, Mm -hmm. for, for lifetimes perhaps even. Um, and so Um, I just wanted to like share that and, and just see what y'all think about our hermaphrodite souls (laughs) deeper into the past life. (laughs) Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Right. I mean, I love it because some people, cause some, uh, Misty said, what brings someone to the point where they are ready for this? You know what? Mm. I would say the fact that you guys are here with us live, you're ready. ready. (laughs) You are ready. And even yes. if you're not, the seeds have been planted and you get to yes. think about it. And, yes. and like what Ryan said, yes. less talking, more listening, more oh. contemplating, more analyzing, more experimenting, you know, oh, so you're God. ready. <laughs> but why? Right, that was so powerful because we've had um, male audience uh, watchers that specifically say, is this show for men? And, you know, is it just for women? And yes, we do say queens, we do say empresses and goddesses and those things, um, because we do want to uplift, you know, the females of the world. We do. And we know that's what the age that we're in right now. Feminine is just, woo. We, feminine is for front. front. Yes, but no, it's not just for women. It's for the feminine within all. Yes. Yes. Ring it, ring it. Where that bell? Where that bell? <laughs> <laughs> I need to ring it loud. Uh-uh. I'm like, I'm like, send, I was like, I hope she's a feminine energy. Yes, yes. Oh, right. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, it, it is. It is because, oh. like, what Brian just, I mean, we all wiggled and just was like, what? You dropped it. And where's my pins? Because I don't have my mic. Yes. Yet, but <laughs> she threw it. got me covered. She did an emoji, <laughs> dropped the mic. You know, <laughs> room. <laughs> right. I'm so glad that you said that. So, so glad. And will you tell us the name of that book again, please? Yeah. Yes, I actually have right here because I was yes. reading it and yes. studying a little bit of it. It's called Existential Kink. Oh, check that out. Mm-hmm. Yes. I love that. And it's I by Carolyn Elliott. 
Okay. Um, yes. Awesome sauce. Wow. Wow. Um, yeah, I want to, her stuff goes hella deep. So that's probably hella another deep. conversation. Maybe we can all read hella through deep. it and then come back together again and talk about it. I would love that. Um, I would love that. Um, this um, lovely, lovely face. Um, yes. But but she, so um, if I can I kind of go back to Misty's question because it ties in a little bit with this book. So how do you know you're ready for past life? And like Deanna so accurately said, like, yes, the fact that you're here, like your soul is giving you these synchronicities that yeah, say like, yeah. hey, this might yeah. be something you want to think about doing. <laughs> um, <clears throat> because your soul is ready for it. And so what I love about past life is, um, I, I mean, what don't, what don't I love? Okay. <laughs> but I think for the purpose of this conversation, what's so great about this is that um, it really helps you tap into this understanding that you do have the divine feminine and the masculine within you so that you can integrate yourself and remind yourself of the wholeness that you are, okay? That you are whole, that, that, that you don't need someone else to complete you or make you feel Ooh. fulfilled, right? <laughs> um, Okay. And so, <laughs> oh, there's a like, there's a whole nother bag that we just yes, unpacked. Yes, we do. We're just yes, opening yes, it yes, up. We We're just opening it up. Um, but so, oh my goodness. So one of the things that um, I don't know about y'all, mm. but growing up, the expression of emotions yeah. um, was very much frowned upon. For mm. I think honestly, everybody. Yes, because oh, because you. as female body people, yeah. what I hear so often is stop being such a girl. Why are you so emotional? Like, it's not that big a deal. Right. And um, when people say, like, stop being such a girl, oh, it, no. it becomes an insult now. Thank right? you. Thank you. It yeah, becomes yeah. insulting now. It becomes this this term that Thank is you. that is hurtful. Yeah. Um, and so every time you say that yeah. or you hear it, there's this piece of you that hurts, right? Even in the mildest of ways. Mm -hmm. And as as being born male myself, showing emotions and being a girl. Um, is considered a sign of weakness, mm -hmm. right? Nah. And so what we end up doing psychologically yeah. is we like push down and we shun all those parts within us that are feminine, mm. right? Wow, wow, wow. Um, and, and now we disconnect. We disconnect from that divine feminine within us. And yeah. when I did my past life regression, so it, in my circumstance, maybe not for everybody, but in my circumstance, I was going through a phase in my life where I was trying to understand why I identified with the feminine energies the way I do and why I want to express them the way I do. And it was very confusing, it was very rough. And um, uh, at the time I didn't care to admit it, but there was definitely a hint of depression happening there as I was trying to fit in into the world that I was born in, right? And so I did a past life regression because I was searching for answers for why things were the way they were, right? I mean, I'm sure many of you are wondering why certain things in your life are the way they were. Right. And so yes. Yes. past yes. life regressions was one of the ways I could dive deep um, and, and maybe we can talk about the actual technique of how and why it works um, in I just a moment. It. I would love that. But um, <clears throat> when I came to in that past life, y'all, now I wouldn't say that I'm a super creative person as like, I wouldn't consider myself an artist necessarily, even though we all are creators and artists like at our core, honestly. Yeah. But in the societal sense, I wouldn't say, oh, I'm a painter. I'm a drawer. I'm a musician. I'm an actor like I wouldn't say that about myself but when I went into this regression I had the most vivid experience of me as a woman like mm -hmm. my body as a woman in mm -hmm. like this French 
um, era, this older French era, and um, kind of just like dropping the bomb and not even like building up to it anymore. I basically died during childbirth. And I physically felt myself getting lightheaded, even though I was like lying down and not moving during this regression, I physically oh. felt myself getting lightheaded from the blood loss. And I saw myself coming up out of the body after this past life kind of played itself out. And that mm. just gave me so many insights on the relationships that I've had with people and, um, my child survived, yay, yay. <laughs> but I didn't through this process, which is was actually very common during that time period, right? Mm -hmm. And yes. it made me realize, you know, um, even to this day, like those tendencies that I have about not wanting to be left out, mm -hmm. right? Wow. That like FOMO, <laughs> how many of y'all have that FOMO? Wow, right wow. and so I have this wow. fear of missing out because I didn't get to be a part of my child's life right and so oh, it helps me understand that dynamic and and the strong emotions that come with that FOMO vibe on like another level that I wasn't aware of and at the time there was someone I was seeing that also helped me understand that relationship and helped me give peace to it. Um, so uh, yeah, we'll leave that juicy little tidbit for like another time. But um, so that's, that's a little bit about that. I think I have talked enough for the moment. So I'd love to hear what everyone else's thoughts are with that. Oh my God, I want to read the bell before ball. we get, we get Go ahead, go ahead. Man, my goodness. Brian, you got everybody buying the book. I am definitely gonna buy that because <laughs> I love the books, and my daughter has me on on, on one. But I, I'll read that one slow. It is amazing. Uh, so breaking it down, um, D, you ready to break it down? <laughs> Wait, no, <laughs> I'm I'm using the breaker downer. Hey, today Ryan got me all starstruck wow. as well. <laughs> Okay, Ryan, know I love, I love, you know I love you, Ryan. Wow. Come on. Wow. You are my love, Ryan. Okay, <laughs> that's why I'm here. But now y'all know why the FM Queens were straight excited for Ryan to be here, okay? Because yes. yes. we are fans. So we're in your fan club. That's all I got. Oh, I consider y'all my friends. That's so funny. I'm like, <laughs> you're not fans. You're like my friends. You're my peeps. <laughs> oh, we are peeps. We, 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 we are your BFFs, okay? We'll say it yes. that way. BFF, BFF. Okay. <laughs> All day, every day. <laughs> All day, every day. Oh, Ooh, my gosh. Okay, wow. Jesse, break it down. I'm going to get you, Jesse, to put me on the spot because she knows me. <laughs> I normally do break it down when people um, say. But it was so much. First of all, I'm, wow. So when you so did your. Really, right? Right, mm -hmm. you did your regression, yeah. and you were this this um, beautiful female in France. Cause I I just envisioned it when you said that. I'm like, ooh, you was mm -hmm, doing it. You were speaking all French and stuff, and all sexy. That's all I saw when you said that. <laughs> I was like, what you <laughs> love it, love it, love it, love it. I love that. I love that. And but I I would like for you to explain more when you said that your 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 child died i didn't quite understand that i didn't really mm -hmm. understand what you were meaning so will you go back and explain that um a little bit more for me please yeah yeah of course <clears throat> so well first of all if anybody knows me in this lifetime children are not part of my my current to-do list or a project list. The current to-do list. <laughs> um, that is not my calling. The way you said project. <laughs> it's a project. It is a project. It's an experiment. Well, it's, 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 it's a minimum 18-year project, but really a lifetime project. <laughs> it, is. Um, it is. So um, the fact that I like had a child and was so attached to this child <laughs> was like a shocker to me. But um, <clears throat> so... Okay. All right. Well, okay. Maybe it would make sense if I bring in 
the monsieur that I was seeing at the time. <laughs> that might make this whole thing make a little bit more sense to you. Um, but so in this, I was, I was dating somebody and it was really, really cute because he um, had been on his own spiritual journey with coming to grips on his body image. So mm. past life regressions can also help you come to terms with your body image. And mm. maybe some of you at some point in your life, most likely now <laughs> in the present, right. um, you may have some opinions, conscious mm. opinions, ego, mm -hmm. remember ego opinions, because yeah. you are beautiful, like legit. Um, you have some opinions on the ego level that you're not beautiful enough or that you don't have the, the type of body mm -hmm. that's attractive or what have you, right? Mm -hmm. And so he was mm -hmm. on his spiritual journey coming to terms with his self body image, right? And he was very open to doing a past life regression together on a date. <laughs> and so oh, we yeah. did. On, on a like, date? On a date? What? On a date? Yeah, I, that's what? the kind of dates I go on, guys. So if anybody. That, that, that's one for the record book. That's one for the record book. <laughs> yes. So I okay. either eat, which Angela, I got you, boo. I either <laughs> eat or I do spiritual crazy stuff like past life regression. <laughs> Oh, we could do both. We could like, all right, next. Sweet, sweet. I love it. I love that plan. Um, you can't get enough goodness. Um, <laughs> and so we did this past life regression together. And what ended up happening is I, as this French woman, married this guy I was seeing mm. at the time. Wait, wait, and wait. so um, that doesn't happen always. But just so you all know, when you do a past life regression, you may or may not see some prominent figures in your current life playing some kind oh, of yes. role in your past life. Oh, yes. And, oh, yes. Oh, um, yes. Psych note, yes. wow. when you do these past life regressions and you see someone from your current life, mm -hmm. it may heal. Well, no, let me just say it, it won't may, it will. It yeah. will. It, it will help heal that dynamic you have with this person. Ooh, because wow. um, you might understand your relationship with them and like why is it that I don't get along with them or why is it that I feel so connected with this person well boo it's because you had a past life with them yes, that's the thumb that's the t with the capital absolutely. t um uh -huh. and so yes that's another benefit for past life regressions so let me just like slide that in there um, oh, wow. and so this guy he was actually one of the first guys that um took me on a date and didn't expect me to come home and jump in the sack with him. And that was the most refreshing experience of my life, but it scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> How many of you know what I'm talking about when things seem too damn good to be true? And so you're like, somebody is doing something sneaky up in this booch and it's gotta be you. <laughs> Cause I am so good, I do everything right, so it must be you. <laughs> not me, yes. it's you. Not me, it's you. We all played that game. We've all lived that drama in our minds. <laughs> wow. I mean, wait. I mean, wait, Ryan. Wait, 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 wait. That needs to be a show. Why? Why? <laughs> why, why do we? Why can't we accept something that's straight gold and sparkling yes, and believe it the first right. time? I believe it the first time. Right. something fraudulent or something. You're sneaky. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Yeah. It's like, right. why are you telling me I'm cute? You, what you want? You know, <laughs> it's yes. because you're always what you want. What, you, what want? you want? <laughs> why lay it on a thick like that? Why you trying, why you trying to give me sandwiches? Why you trying to buy me coffee? What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> I love that girl. I love oh that. my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right. Um, and so I was very attached to him, of course, because he was what we all think of as a true gentleman. <laughs> and I was like, okay, so if this is legit, I really want to be in his company, right? And and I literally like I'm not that kind of person who is like believes in love at first sight and like, you know, just dives all in. Like, you know, someone once told me, follow your heart, but take your brain with you. And so, Sorry. girl, I be taking my brain. <laughs> um, 
gonna write all this down. Everybody get this. <laughs> write it down. So, I'm gonna that in the comments. <laughs> Follow your heart, but take your brain with you. Write yeah. that down. <laughs> yes, yeah, that is that is gold. That was one of the best pieces of advice I had ever received. Wow. Um, and so in this past life, he was my husband. Um, and that made helped me understand why I felt so drawn to him like after this first date and why he had this like huge profound effect on my life <clears throat> and helped me start to feel worthy of being something other than um like a physical companion if you know what i mean yeah we know what you mean um <laughs> sadly i think a lot of people know that truth right sadly <laughs> but i guess that's part of all of our journeys and reclaiming yeah. that divine feminine within us and that feminine beauty yeah. and those feminine charms yeah. um and so in that life we had a children a child and i was so excited she was a busy merchant so we were well to do and in the childbirth process like I died because I, you know, hemorrhaged. I, I bled out, which is a very common thing um, back then, like I said, um, like whatever, 1700s, um, that time frame. <clears throat> and I was so upset because I was like, who's gonna take care of my child if I die, you know? Right. And the thought that came to me, which is not, this is how you know you're in a past life, guys. This is how you know that it's not made up because you in your present day mind would never think some of these things, mm. right? You would never think mm. some of these things. So one of the thoughts that came to my head as this past life version of myself was, who's gonna feed the baby? Right. My husband ain't got no boobs. <laughs> right. Right. I was like, if I die, who's gonna feed this baby? Right, right, right. <laughs> And of course, me as this person now would be like, girl, get yourself some formula. Yes. <laughs> get you a wet nurse. Uh -oh. Right. But like me back then, th th that was like not a thing. Like yeah. you couldn't yeah. go to the supermarket in like medieval France and be like, yo, can I get some of that, you know, powdered shit over there? Oops. <laughs> some of that Similac. Similac. Yes, thank you. The Similac. Mm -hmm. And so, um, I was just so distraught over it. And I knew my husband was busy and was like, I need to take care of this child. Like this child is gonna be abandoned. Like my husband has to work and make money. And like, come on, all those empowered women in this lifetime in the here mm -hmm. and now wouldn't be thinking that either. They'd be like, yeah, you better take care of your kid. <laughs> right. Child, right? Right. Yes. If I'm Child. busy, you better help take care of your kid. Right now. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Right now. <laughs> and so, like, that was my experience. Like, those were the emotions going through me. And I was just wow. so saddened by the fact that I wouldn't get to see my child grow up that I wouldn't get to celebrate, you know, their achievements oh, next to wow. my husband and um, like all those kinds of things. And, um, and after that regression, I was able to release. Mm -hmm. I was able to just experience our relationship in the here and now for what it is. And that anxiety of like, when is he going to leave or when is this amazing oh, wow, thing going wow. to end or be taken from me yeah. like those feelings of anxiety left me within this relationship Ooh. and so for those of you who have these deep connections with people that that create some anxiety within you mm -hmm. that that you're kind of like being pushed and pulled between like love and hate right yeah, yeah right we've had yeah. those relationships maybe sometimes more often than we care to admit it just for the sake of um you know protecting people i won't name no names but i'll oh, yeah. yes. how many fingers you want yeah <laughs> Yeah. Do, you need, do you need both hands? Do you need Ooh, to do and my toes? <laughs> my, all my your hands. hands as well. I yeah. need all your hands. Yeah, yeah. Throw my yeah. eyes, my nose, my teeth. Right. Yeah. <laughs> my neighbors. I, my teeth, I can't. Uh, so yes, so past life regressions can help you understand the depths 
of those types of relationships mm -hmm. and help you understand why they're in your life now. And, and oh really it's all about bringing the unconscious yeah. to the conscious. So it wow. can be worked through, it can be healed, yeah. right? So past life regression is a way to do that. Um, and then of course we can talk about like how it actually does that um, at another point. But Deanna, I hope that answered your question about like the baby and my attachment to the baby and him because of our life as a family, which is like a big value for a lot of people today, but for a lot of people back then as well, right? Like that's what our conditioning is, is to grow up and have a family. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. It, it did answer my question totally. And I really, I really overstand now. I overstand. And I'm glad that you shared, because at first you were saying, I will talk later about the relationship, but I'm glad that you shared the relationship in this present lifetime or reincarnation yeah. Yeah. and how you could see the fact that you did go back it was a synchronicity as far as you're like, that's why you were so fine to me because I knew you before. You were my yes. husband before. That's why I'm so attracted to you. And when you said that, that now you know why the anxiousness and the anxiety and stuff like that, I mean, that, that was powerful. So everyone watching, you guys yeah, need to do right crafts past regression or past lifetime stuff going on because awareness is so key guys it is. Awareness, because when you are aware of things and you know how to proceed you know yeah, what yeah, action yeah, you yeah. take you know regardless if it's leaving or boundary or whatever it is you know so that awareness is so so key so thank you for explaining that so so much oh of course you're welcome <laughs> and to be able to see how, how we're so disconnected with ourselves we don't even know that in this present day, in present moment space, how disconnected we are. But then having that awareness brings you so much hope. So yeah. oh, that's, that, that's, the, that's what's going on inside me. That's the craziness that was going on. And just to get it, to get those puzzle pieces. There you go, yeah. Jesse, yesterday. Those little puzzle pieces to connect us back with ourselves and make us whole again. Yeah. And make us whole again. Wow. Yeah. I, I have not had a past life regression but I've always respected it because of my upbringing, Greek uh, upbringing, and I'm so thankful to the Almighty that I had this spiritual awakening when I was younger. I was eight years old, and by the time when it came with that, um, you know, it's time for our cycles to come, and you know, you start as start to get about children and stuff like that. The Spirit told me, "Not this time." I said, "All right." I was eleven. Not this time. I said, "All right." They told me, "You had many children in the past. This life, you're to rest." They told me. And, but it told me you're going to have many be you're going to be the mother of many it said mm. and i have over what i don't know five thousand eight thousand students I, and every i'm telling you every classroom i go to by the end of the school term everyone is calling me mother oh I or, yes that. yes so i was like yes and accepted all my babies all my right. babies yeah right. yeah right. you know yes. So it, it's, it's been on faith. It's been on faith and just knowing your that intuition, that gut, divine. So I was like that. I'm with you. Oh, you know, so you. I didn't carry that. But there's a lot of women that I felt for my heart because they carry, because I cannot conceive, because I can, this is disconnected, because something happened before, you know, that they're disconnected with themselves. And my heart has oh. been so filled with sadness for them my whole life. My oh. whole life. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. That is exactly yeah. what I was feeling, Angela. So, no, I felt so, you. so there are many ways to be a mother and share that mother energy in the world. Exactly. And Angela, I am so happy that you are embodying that truth that um, for all the women out there who, yeah. who, who feel diminished because they cannot physically conceive a child or they haven't been able to do not yeah. feel that way and I, that might be kind of harsh because I, I have no right to tell you what to do and what not right, to right, do. Right, right, right. it's not that <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. but from my perspective and the perspective of so many people in this world um you are beautiful and you have value um and and there are so many ways you could share your spirit and your love with this world. And there are so many people out there that are just waiting to receive it. Yeah. Um, oh my goodness, so, yes. 
Yes. So you can be that divine masculine and help other people tap into their divine feminine by allowing them to receive your love. So yes. you go out there and you give it. Wow. Okay? <laughs> um, yes. Everyone felt that. Everyone felt that. Whoa. Oh, I sure did. Oh, okay, so that helped. That helped so many. Yes. Period. Like Adrian said, period. Period. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I'm excited. To, so everybody is saying, Orion, like you can understand more of yourself in relationship with others from the past. Like definitely, yeah. it's definitely something that resonates. Everybody is so thankful for um for the conversation that we're having today. Yeah. Uh, this really, if the if. Uh, it feeds the soul. <laughs> yes. um, so I'm excited to have this kind of um, content out to the world because it's not going to be here just for today, tomorrow. It's going to be ancient learning. <laughs> and I'm excited to tap into that, into that uh, knowledge, that pool of knowledge. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the party continues here and, and, and we want to invite everybody to come and see us on, on Instagram to celebrate a big day on the twenty. You want to talk about that, Ryan? <laughs> oh my God! Of course, of course. Thank you, Jesse. Yes, we want to invite everybody to come along in the ride. It's beautiful. Yes, yes. And so, um, this conversation <laughs> on past life regressions will definitely kind of continue on Instagram, and um, I am planning to have it continue as I am getting my YouTube channel ready to finally go like as you can see I've been like working on creating some Beautiful. kind of set um okay. yeah thank you thank you um <clears throat> and so I am a Libra baby so big shout out to all the Libra. fellow Libras in the house and <laughs> on the play um I'm not a Libra I'm just celebrating Libra yeah, yeah. thank you, thank you. <laughs> so we celebrate all Zodiac we celebrate all children yeah. <laughs> um and uh normally on my birthday I tend to just keep to myself and have it as a day to like really connect back with myself but this year mm -hmm. I felt called to um share this space with so many people in the online community that um you know I can't be with physically um and in person and yeah. I mean maybe even if we wanted to who knows if there's a physical venue that will allow all of us to come together <laughs> right. um so I will be doing a live with um, some amazing, amazing people um, to talk about rebirths because your birthday is your solar return and mm -hmm. um, talking just about life and, and um, past lives and how maybe some of our experiences in life, like what we can offer people, right? Our spiritual experiences and wisdom that we've gained that we can share with others um, no matter where they are in their astrological timeline, <laughs> whether you're a Libra or not, like, right. we will be talking about those, those subjects. And so if you're enjoying this conversation about past life regressions, um, like definitely be there. Uh, I will be on Instagram and um, it's going to be through my page, Trans Solution there. So um, I look forward to sharing space with everybody again there, of course. <laughs> when, Ra, you didn't say when. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that would be important you, to know, right? You know your birthday, but I don't. So I don't know. <laughs> He's like, yeah. What is time yeah. anyway, right? <laughs> That's true. Okay. That's true. There's no such thing as time. Yes, 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 yes. October 20th. So next Wednesday, October 20th is my birthday. And I would Yay. love to celebrate that. Not for me, but for all of you and to have all of you with me there. <laughs> awesome. Oh my goodness. So you set the day, ladies and gentlemen, because the that day, day has is going to be powerful portal hopping. <laughs> yes. yes, yes, yes. Why do you, you have know it? You're going to do it? Oh, yes, the time. What time? Um, yes, so it'll be 1.30 Los Angeles time. So okay. that'll be 4.30 so that in the nice. afternoon for New Yorkers and East Coasters. Okay, yes, and yes, 3, 4, four Central. Yes. Three, two yes. Central. All right, yes. yes. I'm going to put that on my calendar. Yes, we're so we, we there. <laughs> we are oh there. Goodness. Yes. This, this, this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt everyone, but it's that time. <laughs> I know. It's that time to almost wrap it up so it hurts. This is hurting right now. 
Because I want to keep you, I want to bottle you up. I want to package you and just keep you. I can't, I can't do that. Because that's considered kidnapping. That's, yeah, that's right. kidnapping that's kidnapping. I can't do that. Can't do that. I can't do that. I have not had a record all my life. But for you, Ryan, yeah, I'll risk it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll risk it. I will risk it. So let me. Just get for my past okay. life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Past life. Past life. Past life. Um, wow. So what we do near the end of the show, we would love to pull a card. Brian, would you pull a card for us? Of course. Yeah. Of course. What? Um, Whatever you feel. Tra- tra- I will be right draw. back. I will be right, right. back. <laughs> draw to it. You all. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. When he, when, when we were first getting the explanation of it, I was thinking about how, when I was dealing with my um, past events, challenging events in my life and how it took my masculine energy actually to get me through. Cause I, I never told you guys this before, but I actually became like a sailor. I had a potty mouth. You would never think, and all my, no, I mean, I was, I was angry. I pushed through stuff. Yes. I pushed through stuff. After two years of doing this, my friends had to grab me. Yes. My friends had to grab me. Wow. You did good for those two years. I mean, that for, you know what I mean? It was to make it, it was to make it come out. And I guess I was also shielding myself from getting hurt again. So I was pushing, I was acting, I was pushing, I was pushing. And it was all in there. My, my friends had to grab me and say, Angela, that's enough. I mean, we understood the first time you had to let it out. I was like, that's enough. But I was like, wow, I really plugged into that masculine energy. And I was kicking butt and taking names. I was. I was. Yes. <laughs> I was making people cry. Because when I like dropped the F-bomb or did stuff like that, they were like, all right, come on. I was getting serious. You can't. That can't be coming out your mouth. Yeah. Right. yeah. I tapped into it. I was a sailor with a potty mouth in New York City. Yeah. So think about the energy of New York. It helped. It spurred it on. I was yes. like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. It helped. That was uh, to everybody. It didn't help. <laughs> it didn't help. It didn't help. It, didn't help. it, 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 it was peer pressure. <laughs> you, you had it, pressure. It didn't help. New York it didn't does have, have a male energy. You're right. New York has a strong one. So it, it didn't help that I was actually there at that time working things out. Cause it just brought it on big time, but it was, it felt releasing in the beginning, but then it felt like a crutch. Mm. It felt like a crutch of me hiding away from the pain, hiding mm. away from myself. And then I had to, when my friends, the divine sent my friend and just grabbed me like this. And then, yeah, I, my healing began. Yeah. But I realized that, wow, between the two, between the two, the male and feminine energy. Wow. Yeah. So I wanted to share that. I came. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. So please, 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 what spurs your spirit? What car would you like to pull for today? Okay, so um, <clears throat> the deck that called out to me is this star seed deck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it says wisdom for spiritual growth. And so the reason why I chose this deck is that you are all multidimensional beings you are all made of the stars you are cosmic Mm -hmm. and divine and so this um deck i hope will share a message that will remind you of that today and for the remainder of this week until i see y'all again on my birthday (laughs) october 20th (laughs) so if we can all just take a collective deep breath in together And just hold that breath and just come back to ourselves after this amazing conversation and just tap into that energy that is uniquely you and release that breath and share that divine you with the world. And let's see what the divine has to share. The card already jumped out. So I guess we're going to get a bonus. We're going to see if we get two messages today. The energy is very, very strong here is what I'm sensing. Uh, oh. Yes, yes. Okay. So the message that wanted to jump out to everybody is ooh, freedom. Oh, wow. Freedom. Follow your heart and nurture your soul with love and freedom to grow. And that is exactly what we were talking about today is 
is just following your heart yeah. and, and allowing yourself to grow, right? Allowing yourself to be more yeah. than your ego mind thought that you could be in this lifetime. And you can do that by tapping into every part of you. Ooh. The divine masculine, the divine feminine, the unconscious, and your second message, your bonus message, because the universe is just so generous that way, <laughs> is guidance. Mm. You are not alone. You are guided by masters and teachers of the highest realms. Okay. And not only do you have myself, Deanna, Angela, Jesse, and other amazing souls around you in your life to hold space and share space with you for that spiritual appetite <laughs> that you have. But know that, that when you go on this journey, there are also unseen guides and protectors and guardians. And um, when I do past life regressions, know that you are in a safe space with me and that we are calling in those beings and that they are present and they will watch over you and myself through the entire process of the regression. So um, just know that you are, like the card says, not alone and that there's a lot of love around. Mm. Just, just recognize it when you see it. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Praise Allah. That was so beautiful. My goodness. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Wow. You all. Oh, wow. We have, so we've come, we've come to the part of the show where everyone gets to say their last words. Share your hearts, share your hearts. Who wants to go first? Brian, forgive me. You're first. Oh, you're first. <laughs> okay. You're the guest. Oh, okay. Who's going to go? You, um, you, 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 I was like so excited away. for you guys. You should have, you should have went. <gasps> me? No. <laughs> 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 yeah. I love the hair. I love the hair. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to thank Deanna, Angela, and Jesse for having me on oh. this amazing, beautiful space. Um, this definitely was a brilliant way to start my day. Mm -hmm. um, and I thank you all for that. Um, I thank you all a lot for starting my day off with love and laughter. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. My two favorite things um, yes. Yes. outside of food. Um, yes. <laughs> you were a foodie, right? <laughs> yes, yes, total. Um, and I, I just, to everybody watching this, um, like we mentioned at the beginning of this video, you were here for a divine reason. So please yes. take whatever resonated with you, nurture it. Um, allow yourself to receive these messages um, and open that channel to bring more love even into your world, into your reality. And um, of course, if there's anything that myself um, or any of the lovely people here today can do to assist that, just reach out. Um, my social media is open for DMs if you're interested in a past life regression session. Um, I'm happy to um, serve in that way. So just DM me um, and if anyone else resonated with you, you don't receive, you can't receive if you don't ask sometimes. So just connect with yeah. the beautiful people in the space because it will be well worth it mm. in more ways than you know. Oh, wow. <laughs> See? Oh my gosh. I saw your heart go up. Right. <laughs> wow. What I would love um, to impart everyone with today is, is um, acceptance of all of you, you know, um, and even, you know how we say the good and the bad, there is no good and bad, except all of you, the, the corners, your quirkiness, the fact you like food, Ryan, the, you know, and Angela, I'm <laughs> talking <laughs> So, and everyone else is right. He is love. Accept it. Don't, because one thing that, that Ryan was speaking of that was really profound on a couple of different things, and Angela hit it too, is that we allow the external to determine our internal, meaning voices and uh, culture and our nurturers, uh, people around us, you know, and love who you are accept who you are and 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 be and do just be you boo. 
<laughs> just be you, boo. Okay. <laughs> and, type that. And, Somebody type that. Yeah, type it in the comments. I'm gonna be me. <laughs> yeah. 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 And 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 just love it. Just love it. Love it. Love who you are and smile. Just mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. And, and guess what? It's not selfish to love yourself. No. It's not selfish to accept yourself. It's not selfish to create boundaries. None of that is selfish. So that that's that's what I wanted to share with all of you today, you know. Oh blessings. Oh my goodness. Praise our Lord. Jesse. I love all of you guys oh, so much. Too. Oh my gosh, I love you too. I'm so, so, so much. Uh, <laughs> I want to I want to say that just in case nobody has told you that today. I know it's pretty early, but you know, oh. if you need to come back to this message and listen to that, and I love you. You know, my light definitely sees your light. Mm. Um, and I that was something that I not too long ago I been embracing into the uh, the physical world where I'm, I'm shining my light so that you can see yours so I hear and I say and I say this to you love yourself because I definitely love you oh my and God. I I have divine energy I have feminine energy so you you are love you are God you are the goddess that you are and the God that you are because we have both in us. So let's learn to get to know those two beautiful energies that are inside of us so that we can heal the past, the present, and we can be amazing and fly like the phoenix. I love you. Mm. Oh love you too, Phoenix. Because you I, look like a phoenix right now, Jesse. My, so, <laughs> my, my alarm always goes off. You guys know at nine o'clock. And this is the first time I'm actually hating on my alarm. I know we're not supposed to hate, but also, I don't like this thing. Because that means it has come to the time where we have to say adieu for the day, but we'll be back. We'll always come back. We have the will of the divine. We will always be here. My word for everyone that came is trust and believe. Trust and believe in yourself. All right. And for the times when you feel like you, you're unable to in that moment, just know that all of us here are. We got your back. We got your back in so many ways. And not just when you ask. All right. When you do it without words, when you need it, we're here. So feel us. Know that we're here with you. We are your foundation. I love you guys. Oh my goodness, this was an amazing show. I'm gonna come camp out at your house. I'm just saying. I told this to Tabaria. So when I show up, when I find out where you live, and I show up, I'm not a stalker. Just get to know my face. I will be there. Yeah. Boom boom. Hey, you didn't know? <laughs> I'll, I'll invite you in, girl. You don't have to camp out. <laughs> I'll invite you in and right. I'll meet you. <laughs> I'll on a lawn. I'll on a lawn, camped out. <laughs> and I'll bring, I'll bring food, bags, bags, and we will chop and talk and pass regrets. Chop and talk and pass regrets. <laughs> I and pass love regret. that. <laughs> Thank you so much for blessing us today with your wisdom, your love, and your light. We're praying that everyone out there continues to have a blessed day full of love and light. Remember those intentions that you set for yourself always. Show up in your life. You already have by being here. If you see this on replay, remember to type replay in the chat and any comments or questions that you have, we will pass them forward to Ryan or we will also answer them and make it part of another show. You know, yes. no word goes unheard. We always are here for every thought and every ideal. Love you all dearly and trust and see you tomorrow. Have a good one. I miss you.